Hey guys, Sony Genario. Um, <clears throat> doing my vlog to respond to Malcolm Gladwell's article. Uh, I think he kind of misses the point overall. Um, I think he's trying to, uh, I think that he takes a revolution a little too far. I don't think anybody is trying to compare Facebook or Twitter and what's, what was going on overseas in those instances that he described to the instances in Greensboro and the sit-ins and all everything that Dr. King did. I don't think anybody is trying to compare it to that level. Um, and he does describe how Facebook and Twitter and other social media mediums are good and the good things that they do, like the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, bringing people together, um, talks about weak acquaintances. Um, that is what they're good for. And I think that that's that's what they claim to be good for, and that's what everybody thinks that they're good for. And nobody is trying to say that <clears throat> Twitter is going to help drive the next civil rights movement or the next movement that is as big as that. Um, however, I, I do think he hit the nail on the head on a couple of things. Um, he talks about weak acquaintances, and it is harder to bring people together that way, bring people together through your friends on Facebook. Um, it's much easier to get when you really know somebody, like you said, with the sit-ins, if you stay up late talking to somebody, if you live with somebody, it's much easier to get them to do something, to get them to rally around a cause with you, rather than somebody who checks their social media on their phone and just sees what you're doing with your life. Um, they're probably not willing to put their life on the line for you. And that's really what all the instances he talks about was about. They were putting their life on the line to better the future of the country or of the world or whatever cause they were going after. And there's very, very few people in all of our lives, if any, who are lucky enough to have somebody that's willing to put their life on the line with you or something. And I don't think it's realistic to think that anybody on Twitter or on Facebook or Instagram is going to do that for you. So I do think he's right in that respect, but I just think that he was, <clears throat> he's trying to take what everybody thinks Twitter and Facebook is good for a little too far and trying to take it a little too seriously. Not really understanding that we aren't thinking that it's going to, it's going to help us with the next big revolution. I think there's different types and different levels of revolution and the sit-ins might be the top and Facebook and Twitter will never get us there but I don't think anybody thinks that it will in the first place so this was Tony Gennario for my vlog first ever vlog for POS 434